Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, this is for those Leo singles out there. This is your love reading for August, the rest of August, I guess September too. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm, as I'm doing the next one next week. What's the freaking date? It's the 25th. No, it's just for August. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't freaking know what day it is. <laughs> All right, Leo. There's Leo singles out there. What do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, Take a look at the description box below, there's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to click the link in the description box below to my website and go to me to find it. I'm not going to come to you asking if you want to read it. That's not how it works. So if I do, then it's not me. Don't fall for it. If you want to win a reading, on the other hand, Take a look below. I'm running a competition for you to win a reading. Good luck. Right, Leo. For the Leo singles out there, what do you need to know about love? The rest of August. No, oh, one more shuffle. We are singles. <sighs> careful, careful. Careful, careful, Leo. We got the uh we got the chariot. This is like moving forwards with some hot dude with a moustache maybe I don't know <laughs> I just think he's hot anyone else let me know in the comments below do you think the chariot dude's totally hot I would date that dude <laughs> this is why I'm saying be careful man ace of wands got wood anyone is this a phallic symbol maybe can you see the dirt in my window? My cat's been. This is where he, like, it's on the inside. Look, it's where he's been chasing flies. I need to clean my window, obviously. I've just. Sorry, I've just shown myself at what a filthy beast I am. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <clears throat> Another reason why I'm saying be careful. This is this is uh, the fool in reverse. This is saying look before you leap. Don't jump into something too quickly. Why? So look. Why? Why not? Why not for Leo? You're just coming to the end of a, a difficult cycle, that's why. Uh, it's, it's been a tough time for you, you're coming to the end of it. There's a little bit of indecision around this. This person might be looking for someone like a father figure or a mother figure, you know, they, they, they're looking for someone to, to baby them, to look after them. The Nine of Swords as well, I just feel like that's... Nine of Swords, mate, that's, that's waking up at three in the morning worrying about stuff. What does Leo need to know right now? about this sexy relationship coming in. It's sexy, it's it's very sexy, but I, I sort of think this person's got uh, maybe mother or father wounds that need healing and they're looking for you to fill that void in them. Who are they? Mm. 
I'm giving me mixed signals here. Hold on, who are they? I haven't got any core cards out yet, apart from the Nine of Wands. So, Aries Leo Sag, maybe? Work hard. Who are they? Again, uh, I was going to say, but it wasn't a court card. Perhaps a uh, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who are they? Come on. Give us a little something. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they get into unhealthy relationships. This isn't about you. This is, this is this person. I take it how it resonates. Is this you? Are you someone who tends to get into unhealthy relationships? Are you looking for a father figure or a mother figure? I sort of feel like it's the other way around and it's this person. This is why you need to be careful with them because, yeah, they're, they're sexy as hell. They're hot, but they're, they're sort of looking for a void to be filled. And I, I don't like that in relationships. I always think, I'm sorry, all I can think about is the filth of that window. I have to clean it after this reading. I'm very embarrassed with myself. Take a look on the next reading I do today. It will be gleaming, I promise. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. My mum would be like, <laughs> if she saw somebody's windows that filthy, she, she'd say something like, that's a woman who is not worth her salt. <laughs> what does that freaking mean, mum? Oh dear. Don't. I shouldn't diss my mom. She watches all my videos. Sorry, mom. Sorry, I'm, I'm not dissing you. Sorry, we're, we're cool, mom. Sorry, sorry. She's my mom. She watches all my videos because she's she's supportive like that. Um, yeah, this is someone who gets into unhealthy relationships as a pattern. They're very sexy though. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's, uh, <laughs> it's got an edge to it, that's sexy, this. The edge to that sexiness is that this person is needy and codependent and, uh, yeah, they work hard. Um... It's just, I just feel like it's a decision you're going to have to make, isn't it? I think the decision that you're probably going to make is probably not going for it. Why is the hermit here for Leo, please? Yeah, I'm so stable. I'm great. I like this most stable person coming into your life. Who are you talking to? You work too hard. I want attention. <laughs> I don't like your friends. You can't see them anymore. I, this isn't going to last very long. Just having the Knight of Cups there is, is the sort of, this person's like an idealist, like, yeah, love. Like, they, they, they're sort of a person who falls in love very quickly. I remember dating a guy once and he stayed over at my house, like, I think, I, I was actually really good friends with his dad, who was a lot older than me. We were, he was a photographer I knew. I was really good friends with his dad. And uh, so I knew his dad really well. So uh, I was kind of getting to know him. <laughs> And he stayed over at my house the first date we ever like, really had. Yeah, all right, I'm a slut. I don't care. Slut shame me. Go on. I don't care. Yeah, so he stayed over at my house. But I was good friends with his dad. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just friends with his dad. Though. And uh, so as, as we're going to sleep that night, he sort of did that whole pretty woman thing where where he thought I was asleep and he whispered in my ear, I love you. 
which is just creepy and weird because it's like this is like this is our first date <laughs> dude like hold it down it's it's the first date you don't know me hang on i gotta plug my phone in oh my gosh i'm just sitting funny Well, there we go. I kind of think that this person's sort of one of those people who's like, I love you on the first date. What did I say to him? I was like, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> totally. Because, <laughs> you know, but go to sleep. Shut up. Like, oh, this is 20 years ago. Yes. It's 20 years ago. I moisturise. I was born in the 70s, okay? It says in my description box how old I am. Okay, let's get on with this. What else is coming up in the near future? They're, yeah, they're very over emotional, this person. It's just, it's just a naive person coming in and uh, they're over emotional, codependent. <laughs> it's not your person, but yeah. You can still shame me, it's okay, but I'm going to do it back because baby, you going for it. And I'm not going to still shame you. I said go for it. Live, let me live vicariously through you, for Christ's sakes. I haven't... <laughs> I, I have no idea. I, it's been so long. I, I don't even know anymore. Jeez. What can I say? Okay. <clears throat> So this is best you can hope for is it's the three of wands that's great that's your ships coming in it's good stuff it's uh waiting for the good stuff to arrive it's coming you know it's coming uh oh i just got a message for someone on hinge strangely enough i don't they say i asked them if they had any party tricks do you have any party tricks let me know in the comments below so I can try it out and tell them that I have a new party trick for them. Help a girl out here. Where's the three of ones here for uh, best you can hope for? Yeah, you know what? I kind of know what this means in a way. I think you're not really going to get into this um, relationship. You're you're like, yeah, no, screw that. I, I'll live and learn, and I, I know that this is a mistake. And that, this is you kind of moving forward. This is you learning from your mistakes. That's why it's the three of wands. You can start moving forwards, and we've got you're avoiding disasters. You know that. You're avoiding things that are are um unhealthy for you and, and you're you know if you see somebody is you know a little bit unhinged you're like no i'm gonna i'm gonna avoid that i'm, I'm walking away from that there's a slight imbalance somewhere i'm yeah i'm done this is you starting to move forwards and moving towards the ace of cups you're not going to get into a relationship that's not healthy and doesn't work for you. This person's going to hate that. They're going to be like, no, I want you. I, I love you. Just, just have fun. Just have some fun with it. Don't just watch what you're doing Look before you leap. Uh, why is, so this is the uh, outcome here. I don't really read flying cards, so I'm just going to pop those back and see if they come out again. Where's the eight ones in reverse here for the outcome? I'm going to read this 
and then I'm going to take it to the extended. I'll ask about this person, how they feel about you, what their intentions are towards you, but I think you just have some guidance from the universe. They don't want to lose you, but that's about their own insecurities. They're looking for a mother or a father figure. You've got options. You have options. Why settle for something that's less than? Have some fun. This is what I see with this. Yeah, move it, move forward. Have some fun. Take the reins. You driving this train, baby. A bit of fun, just uh, not too much. Like, watch it. And if somebody's going, I love you on the first date, say to me in the comments below, I can relate to you, Jen. Hashtag not slut shaming. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. What do you do? I was young. Let's pull you. Pull you an oracle card. It's upside down. Doesn't mean anything, I always read these up right. The answers you need are coming. All right. And let's pull you. I love lyric. I've taken some out and put some new ones in. On my Friday show, Nikki and I looked at my love lyrics. I thought I had about four cheap trick love lyrics in there. There were 12. So <laughs> that's why they kept coming out. It's like, oh man, I've got like four in there. Yeah, no, there were, there were 12, so I've adjusted it. There's only, there's only three in there now. It was hard to take some out because they're so darn good. Rick Nielsen writes a tune, I tell you. Okay. Everything works if you let it. By a certain man that I was just saying, I just took most of the cut out from that's really embarrassing what an embarrassing reading i've done i've <laughs> got mucky windows i've just it's not shaved myself and the lyric came out that i was talking about anyway i'm going to take this into extend of my loves thank you for uh Thank you for joining me. It's been fun. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to win a free reading. Take a look in the description box below. There's a link to that. And uh, if you want to watch the extended, there's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the vid there. Thanks for joining me. See you later.